Hey, but it's I'm back once again. Yes, Nexus 5, we've unboxed it. We've done the setup. Now what? Yeah, let's benchmark it. Let's roll the intro. So yes, first of all, we're gonna run 2-2. We're then gonna run Quadrant, and then we've got Geekbench 3. So let's jump in 2 and 2-2. And just to show you that we've got no other applications running. So... Let's uh, click the test. We're going to let it do its thing. We'll come back once it's finished and we'll see how the scores and the doors are. And that's it, people. The tests are finished. What are the scores? We're scoring at... We're getting 29.757, which is actually pretty damn good for a, a stock Android device. As we all know, that generally stock Android devices don't generally fare as well as, let's say, Samsung devices or HTC devices. In this case here, it's under the Note 3, which we don't expect because of the extra RAM, etc. But that's a pretty impressive score. So next we're going to run, yes, is Quadrant. Let's do it. So let's run the full benchmark, and as always, we'll let it do its thing, and we'll uh, come right back. Enjoy the music. That's it, people. It's finished. and got to say, that was pretty damn fast in terms of that benchmark. And what scores are we going to get? We get... A pretty decent score. It's not absolutely fantastic, but it's pretty damn decent. And the score is 8629. Now again, Quadrant's not the most reliable benchmark, but I like to stick it in there to, you know, kind of give a feel of where we were in the past. A la, you know, Samsung Galaxy Nexus S, HTC Desire HD and whatnot, and where we are today, yes. Next one we're going to do is Geekbench 3. So yes, Geekbench 3 is here. Now as you can see here, it is called the LGE Nexus 5 Android 4.4, Qualcomm 2.27 gigahertz, and the free RAM, or the RAM that's available for it to show is 1.81. We all know it's got two gig of RAM in there. Anyway, we will run the test on this bad boy. And once again, enjoy the um, sultry music. Bada bing, bada bong, there we go, it has done it. And the score we have is 910 for the single car and 2749 for the multi car, which again, I think is not too bad for a Nexus device for a stock Android phone. Now, I don't know why, but they never seem to benchmark as good as, let's say, as I said, the HTC phones, the Samsung phones, etc. It may be some tweaking or some kind of software, you know, kind of optimization they stick in there for benchmarks or who knows. But we got 910 2749. That's it. That is the three benchmarks that I always run on my Android devices. Is there any other benchmark videos you'd like me to do? Any ones that I've not done? Any videos you want to see on the Nexus 5? Then, as always, let me know in the comments down below. While you're there, please hit that like button. It is very much appreciated. And subscribe for more videos because I've got a host of new videos on the way from the Nexus 5 to other devices. As always, people, thanks for watching, and you'll see me in my next one. Cheers, everyone.